All right, here we go, man. So you are on, I would say, the heels of your fourth project, Church Clothes Brand. Yeah. Let's kind of talk about the origin. Okay. Do you remember the whole, what you, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the, <laughs> when the anticipation of Lecrae is about to drop a mixtape? And y'all chose that piff. You, you know what I'm saying? You remember that type? Do you remember yeah. that? I, I mean, you probably remember better than I do. I be remembering <laughs> bits and pieces. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's things I can remember that are impactful for me. And then there's other things that I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I totally forgot about that. So I'll tell you one thing I can remember. I remember being I, I, uh, riding the MARTA mm -hmm. in Atlanta, the train in Atlanta, writing shoot 60 percent of church clothes okay because i was just you know i was i don't think people really knew who i was yeah. i was just an average person sitting on a bus yeah. you know it's mama's taking kids to school it's you know drunk people people just, it was raw mm -hmm. and, and it was all that that was inspiring me to write a lot of those songs mm -hmm. um riding around and um did you need that for the vibe because i'm I, sure at that time you didn't need to write the mark Nah, I didn't need to ride the martyr, but I, I wanted to, gotcha. you know what I mean? Yeah. I wanted to be connected to the people. You got to remember, I'm coming off of living in the, in the hood in Memphis and being amongst the people all the time. Gotcha. And so moving to Atlanta, I felt distant. I was like, yo, where's everybody at? Yeah. So this was a guy on me to be around folks because people inspired me to write. So I remember that. And then um, other thing I remember is trying to put together, you know, pieces of the puzzle mm -hmm. and just like, Really, I was on this mission, bro. I remember being on this mission to be like, yo, I know you think Christians are corny mm -hmm. and we can't rap yeah. like we do this. Mm -hmm. At least I do. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I was on that mission. So I remember going to yeah. South by Southwest, yeah, yeah, yeah. just mingling. I ran into Ninth Wonder. Mm -hmm. I ran into Kendrick and just like, yo, we was filming everything. So mm -hmm. that wasn't even planned to go on that church clothes. It was just that we was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ninth was like, I got beats for you. And I met Ty Dolla Sign for anybody knew him, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, just a lot of that. So I was just on this mission to be like, y'all going to stop shutting us out yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah. that's how my my mindset was yeah let's kind of talk about first project we get the other ones is there a song that's most memorable to you and mm. why um man a song that's most memorable to me on project one rejects okay you know toward the end it's like mm -hmm. you know reject me it was like yo i was just I was in my zone, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, if Wu-Tang could spit 5% gems, I could talk about him who died for my sins, you know what I'm saying? I'm what happens when Outkast meets the writings of Moses. Yeah. It was like, yeah. it, all that stuff I just needed to get off my chest because I felt like, you know, high hip hop, you know, mm -hmm. and I think it's like, yo, no, you can't just own me. Oh, yeah, we got, got the same, same mama, mama yeah. you know, it's like, <laughs> stop it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that stands out for me yeah. personally yeah. because I had a chip on my shoulder, yeah. man. I really did have a chip on my shoulder. Now, is there anything you regret? Because I would say, the whole project, everybody was like, yo, we wasn't expecting that from you. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Church closed track. Everybody talks about one lyric in the church closed Oh. <laughs> Choir members We're probably having gay, gay sex. sex. <laughs> but see, the thing about that. Are you like, yo, would you write that now? Okay, so no. <laughs> but here's the thing about it. I was trying to paint a picture of, of folks' reasons for not wanting to participate in the church. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah. and so it's like I was pointing out the hypocrisy. Y'all condemn homosexuality, but y'all yeah. choir members is gay. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. And I was talking to that person who was looking at all the hypocrisy going on in the church. Mm -hmm. But then I, I flipped it toward the end of the song, and I'm talking about my own hypocrisy. Like, if I, before I can criticize the church, I got to criticize my own inconsistencies. Yeah, yeah, I got to, yeah, you know, yeah, so it was kind of, yeah, that was where I was coming from with that. But yeah, I mean. It's a strong song. It is, yeah. I mean, listen, it was polarized. I got it. People was very like polarized. ready to po protest me and everything because yeah. of that. It was and crazy. you shot that at the church. Was that? Yeah, it's in, in Atlanta. Um, we shot some of it at Ebenezer, Dr. Yeah. King's church. Mm -hmm. We shot some at uh, another location off in like Midtown. And uh, on the Marta mm -hmm. again, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. Let's it, talk, let's talk about the second project. All right. So it's like, here's the thing that I that I wonder. I ask you this now, and then we gonna get to the fourth project. Yeah. 
but with each project not being flops, mm. do you feel like you got pressure going into the? Because you know, you go with the first one, the first one's polarizing. Yeah, he yeah. killed it, had the bar. Then you're like, all right, what are we gonna do on the second one? Then on the third, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. it's still there. It's like, man, he ain't gonna be able to do this. On, this what we doing on the third one? Ah, uh, okay, okay. I feel like. That's funny, man. Albums, I feel that pressure. Church clothes, I don't feel you that don't. pressure. Because it's a pickup game to okay. me. <laughs> That's and it's like, in a pickup game, yeah. you just out having fun. I and it's you. like, it, you willing to try some stuff okay. you probably wouldn't do okay. in a real game. When the game's on the line, you might not do that 360 windmill. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but you pulled it off in the pickup game. Yeah. It's like, oh! That's how church clothes feels for me. Okay. It's like, I'm trying stuff. I'm just, but And it's also just... It's just the rawest. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not trying to find that perfect blend or like the crossover record. It's like, look, this is me. Yeah. And here I am. All right, so in that, do you feel like which which Lecrae, I'm gonna ask it like this on purpose. Yeah. Do you like church clothes church clothes Lecrae? Cause that feels Yeah. It feels like it feels more free. Yeah, Church Clothes Lecrae is definitely the, the freer me. Yeah. You got to understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> so, so think about it. I'm coming from performing in front of a largely suburban, uh, you know, non-hip-hop oriented crowd mm -hmm. with these albums. Songs like Background mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. gotcha. and Tell the World mm -hmm. and Messengers, they, they don't put you in front of the hip-hop kind of sewer. Mm -hmm. So... I, I want to do more of those raw, gritty rap songs, but I'm like, y'all don't respond to them, so I, I'm going to do background for y'all, yeah, right? Yeah. So Church Clothes was like my playground where I can just be all of me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's like, all right, it ain't but 10 of us out here listening? Cool. I'm finna, <laughs> let's do it. So that's, yeah. I think Church Clothes is the most authentic version of me you're going to get because gotcha. there's not like me experimenting. It's just like, look, mm -hmm. here it is. Do you have a moment when you came up if you remember on the second project, second church close, like do you have a moment you remember or a song or? On the second one, I'm turned was crazy. Okay. I didn't. We, so what was funny about that was I, I never forget it. Like you got to think, church close one, it was new territory. Mm -hmm. We using mainstream producers. We just trying stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I wasn't gonna feature anybody mainstream. I was just gonna have Bun B call in and just talk. Mm -hmm. That's all we did. Yeah. Church close two. It's like, all right, we're going to try B.O.B., mm -hmm, mm -hmm. E-40. Mm -hmm. I think we, E-40 might have been three. Yeah, E-40 is three. three. Yeah. But we're just going to try B.O.B. Yeah. We're going to try some different stuff. And you got visuals on, on Yeah, good visuals. And, on and, and the thing about that was, I'll never forget, Street Symphony gave me a pack of beats. And I heard the I'm Turn beat. And I, and I was like, yo, I got to write something to this. Now, mind you, I'm a little insecure because a lot of people don't know I spent time Texas is my roots, but also I spent time in the West Coast. Mm. So a lot of people don't know about the West Coast roots, so I have an aff affinity for that music as well. Yeah. So when I'm writing, I'm turned. I'm like, man, I'm going to just do this joint. Yeah. And then I played it, like, scared, like, yo, what you think about this? Torn was like, oh, <laughs> we got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, well, let's run it. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. So I'm turned. All right. Then my man said we going to come with a short film. Oh yeah. Is that what we doing? Yeah. With 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 three. <laughs> yeah, on three. Three three I felt like. And the brand was crazy. I felt like from top to bottom, y'all was like, okay. Three, you gotta remember. Like now Gangland Deja vu. Now it's art. Like I can play more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I can be more experimental because Anomaly had come out. It's the number one album in the country. Mm -hmm. And I'm like I experimented on it and I put my my heels and toenails all up in it like yo <laughs> I will not be in your box yeah and so since I was able I felt freer to break out of the box yeah. I didn't have to do you know Anomaly didn't have those like you know chanty yeah. church anthems that most of my albums did mm -hmm. so when by the time Church Close 3 comes around I'm like well shoot y'all giving me freedom to be more artistic now so I'm gonna paint some pictures and tell stories and I felt like my man Dust oh, visually he killed it. Was you, man, it was just conceptually, it was like, man, he's he's he got genius with it. You know he what I'm saying? That. He got genius with it. And I liked working with him because we did videos for uh, Anomaly. 
and he got them done fast. Yeah, I got you, yeah. So I was like, that matters. You, if you know me, <laughs> I do not want to be on set all day. My man yeah. Dust was like, yeah, we'll knock it out. Bam, yeah. bam. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. this is amazing. No, that mug was crazy. The, the branding was good. The, from the cover, I know Medina was part of that. Yeah, with yeah, the, the all of that was crazy. Your, uh, father-in-law. Yeah. yeah. Medina, shout out to Medina. Yeah. Shout out to my man Ray. Um, Ray Neutron, you know, just just great minds. Medina was involved in two and three, mm-hmm. um, you know, and uh, yeah, great minds, man. Just putting those pieces of the puzzle together. And then also, um, Church Church Coast 3, Misconceptions is like, yeah. oh, we gonna rap, rap. Yeah. And what a lot of people don't know, man, this was crazy when I think about it. What mm-hmm. a lot of people don't know is the people on that song, mm-hmm. they're all like, we were, we're all like very edgy individuals, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like collectively. Like, to me, what it shows is like, if you want authentic hip hop, you're gonna have to, you can't, th- th- there's a difference between, in my opinion, yeah. between a rapper that's Christian and a Christian rapper. Yeah. When I say that, it's like, there's a difference between a rapper that's white and a white rapper. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> a rapper that's white. He's a rapper. Yeah. He just so happens to be white. Right, 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 right. A white rapper is like, oh, you are part of this kind of genre, this category yeah. of white rappers. It's not so much that you are good rappers, that you're white yeah. and you rap. Yeah. So a rapper that's Christian is like, oh, you a rapper, and you just so happen to be a Christian. A Christian rapper is like, oh, you fit in this like, the Christian rapper genre because you love Jesus, but you're not really a rapper. Yeah. I had three people who were rappers yeah. and they happen to be Christian because they came from the trenches. Jackie Hill Perry yeah. from the trenches. She's dealing with her all kind of issues, you know, from sexuality to everything you got. Uh, John Gibbs mm-hmm. coming from the trenches. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jay Givens mm-hmm. coming from the trenches. Mm-hmm. Like they all are rap connoisseurs and they, you know, happen to become Christians mm-hmm. and you got that fire. Yeah. Did you have to rewrite your verse? No. You didn't? No. Okay. I didn't have to rewrite my verse at all. <laughs> no. What's funny is um, I, I was insecure about my verse, mm-hmm. to be honest with you. And so um, I will say I cheated and, <laughs> and gave people 24 bars instead of 16. I did cheat. Everybody gave me a 16. I gave 24. So I was like, just in case, you're going to get a couple more punchlines. I mean, those are some spitters, dog. I cheated, so, yeah, but yeah, yeah. listen. Hey, I don't mind with those three, dog. <laughs> I stacked that yeah, deck. I had to, I, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, okay. Because okay. that them the writers where they ain't trying to leave no space. None. <laughs> All of them are, are monsters. Yeah, no, nah, they monsters. Monsters. They monsters. All right, let's talk church clothes for me. I got some more monsters. What, what, we, what we talking about on church clothes for? What's your hope? What you thinking? I should just tell y'all it's the worst album I've ever done. So your expectations are <laughs> right. really bad, man. Right. It sucks. It sucks. But I got to put it out because you need a four. You, know what I'm you need a four. You know what I got to continue to um, brand. Yeah. Four is like, it's it's time to wake up. Mm-hmm. It's time to wake up, y'all. On which levels? Give us some levels. Who are we waking up? Which level? As a culture, okay. Um, wake up. The church, wake up. Okay. Like, um, I don't know if it was Dietrich Bonhoeffer. It might be Dietrich Bonhoeffer if you don't, if you're not familiar with him. But he was an abolitionist, and, and he said, um, he said to to be silent is to say something, and to to do nothing is to do something. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? That was him, yeah. It was him. Yeah. yeah. So so it's like, yo, it's time to stand up, speak up, get busy. Yeah. Like we sleep, mm-hmm. we've been lulled to sleep. Yeah. Out here, and um, and that's why people don't really want to fool with us because it's like it looks sleepy over there it's like what is y'all what are y'all doing what kind of changes in the world are y'all really making yeah um so it's it's time to wake up it's time to wake up out there if you don't you know believe in what we're really about Mm -hmm. because don't sleep on us either Mm because we really about this life and there's a niche of a niche of us who really about this life and then artistically you know uh I want the young animals. I shouldn't mm-hmm. even say animals, but I want them them young, just phenomenal young Simbas. Young Simbas. <laughs> hungry lions yeah. on this project. Yeah, yeah. And um and that's what we got. I got hungry lions who just like, yo, let me at them. Because really? you gotta know on yeah. this, yeah. it's church clothes. You yeah. can't come half yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So the hungry lions is on here. Yeah. And then if I'm bringing somebody from outside, yeah. they gotta you gotta bring it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no. It's no a real sleepers. arena. It's an arena that's been established. Bam. Yeah. 
bam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is not an exhibition. <laughs> right. This is it. This is MMA, baby. It's yeah, like, yeah. look, yeah. It's, getting into the octagon. Let's go. Yeah. So you feel like you like Brandon wise. Are you still going? Are you going to try to ramp out, ramp yeah. up, stay the same? Are we talking short film or? Um, I'm a big delegator nowadays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm so passionate about the work being done, and so like there's work connected to everything we talking about. You got a Peace Prep Academy, which is a school in English Ave that is, um, you know, trying to help communities thrive and mm -hmm. not just survive. Mm -hmm. You got Grove Park Renewal, which is providing homes for folks who are getting put out in their communities. You got um, a, uh, Innocence Project and prison reform and, you know, uh, GLT and JPay, mm -hmm. you know, who are involved in, in transformation in the correctional facilities. Yeah. And so that's the work that I'm doing. And yeah. I'm like, yo team, come build around what I'm already doing yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's what people need to see. They need, they, let's highlight mm -hmm. the, 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 the movie that the soundtrack is being made yeah, for, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. In closing, it's a brand. For sure. As people follow this brand and they get introduced to it, if you say, hey, <laughs> this is what I want y'all to walk away with, yeah. And, and be on a journey with, what would you say? I would say, man, you're invited to walk with us. You know, you, you're invited to walk with us, um, regardless of where you stand, regardless of your faith, regardless of your background. Um, we're unashamedly followers of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. We're unashamedly bringing peace in, 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 in war-torn areas, mm -hmm. but we're also unashamedly um, passionate about the craft. Mm -hmm. So it's art. Mm -hmm. It's, it's excellence. I think it's not like everyone wants one category. Like they want uh, humble excellence mm -hmm. or servitude mm -hmm. or distinction mm -hmm. or vocal mm -hmm. unashamedness. Mm -hmm. It's all of them. Mm -hmm. So, and you're welcome to come into our world. You mm -hmm. know, in the same way our future told you, come into their world. Like, what is this crazy stuff y'all go? Come yeah, on in. You're welcome. That's and, and that's what I'm saying is, come on in here. You're welcome. That's you know good. I mean? well, to me, that's church clothes. So, yeah. AT, this Cray. We got some more heat coming. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on, y'all? Thank you for checking out my channel. Make sure you hit the like, the subscribe, and ring the bell for the notifications. Also, check me out on social media. Name is spelled L-E-C-R-A-E. God bless y'all.